It's been around here in use off and on, mostly in the wintertime for five years. Five years, it's five years old. The barrel is loose. I'm going to pull. It's doing the usual ash build up thing, but because this is tapered, it can't really build up very thick. I've seen with a flat top on a rocket stove, I've seen, um, I've seen it build up so thick that it'll, it'll pinch the barrel off. It'll like pinch the flow. So the ash can't really stop up here. There's a little bit of ash. Not very much. Protruding corners always get whack. So the stove's seen a lot of use, a lot of contact, a lot of human contact. The plaster's off, you know. Since we have this thing, this uh, Peter channel in there, which creates a cool channel of air that goes down this brick, you'll notice this front brick here is not cracked. This inner bit here, this is a piece of steel pipe, which is normally a no-no, you shouldn't do that. I can't see all the way down there, but I don't feel any real damage. <laughs> I don't feel any damage to it. Like this, it's not flicking off in there, which means it's not getting that hot inside the stove. Something to think about. Get into it. So that whole top layer is adobe bricks? Yeah, there's a layer of adobes, and below the layer of adobes, there's sand. And the sand surrounds the pipes. Turns out that's not a good idea. Sand is, um, has a little bit of an insulation quality to it because the sand has, uh, you know, in between the sand grains, there's a little air pocket. So it didn't get hot at all? The bench? Um, yeah, the, I mean, this room's so small. By the time this bench starts showing any warmth, you know, you're like baked in here. Mm -hmm. It's a sauna. It's a tiny little room and this puts out quite a bit of heat. But it doesn't have a lot of storage. I've noticed because of the insulation quality of the sand. Oh yeah. out of here it gathers up funnels into this pipe and this pipe went down into this end chamber and then it went back down this pipe and then to the chimney and out of the building but we're getting rid of the pipes we're gonna build a bell in here instead Oh, is that an adobe? Yep. Okay. See, it's a, it's a prop to put the pipe so on. So it's just, right, right. All right, I just put some adobes down, the set the pipe on top of the adobes, and dumped gravel and sand in it. And then, adobe and cobbed on top, and then plastered it. Quick, easy, done. You know, the loose film underneath might be a good idea. Mm -hmm. You know, because it sort of insulates the floor, it keeps the heat from going out the, the right, ground so much. Right. But yeah, doing it up on top, yeah, you know, not so much. That's pretty thin right there. Well, yeah, the adobe that was on here broke off. Oh, okay. There was an adobe on here. Did you cob on top of the adobes? Yeah. Yeah, I made the shape happen with cob. Okay. And then plastered on top of that. Pretty thin cob layer in some places. That looks pretty good. So we tore it all down, um, put the, pulled the pipe out, and what we have now is an adobe shell. 
right? A shell of adobes. So this is the cob wall behind it, but this is a shell of adobes. And we're gonna, we have an inflow from, from the rocket stove uh, combustion unit, and we have an outflow to the chimney. So we wanna take this hardy backer stuff and we wanna change this entrance now. We're gonna make this an entrance into the chimney, but it needs to be down low. This entrance into the chimney needs to be at the bottom of the, the bottom of the deal. So, um, so I'm gonna use this hardy backer and cob it in up here and put cob over it to do that. So it's a baffle, so it can't, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do that thing. And then something similar has to happen with this. This has to go down as well and be kind of down at the bottom. So I um, think what we ought to do is use some tools to kind of just chisel this hole down so I can pretty much just sort of block this top part off. You know what I mean? Like lower this by mm -hmm. chiseling it out. Because I don't want to have to build out too much with stuff and baffles to come down here because it'll reduce the amount of bell space. I want to keep the bell space as big as we can do it at this point. But at the top, see this is a structural piece. I don't want to dig into this structural piece at the top anymore either. Right. But down here underneath, we can, we can chip all this out all the way down and just sort of guide this down and then put mm -hmm. a piece of hardy backer across or something right, and right. then cob over it, right? And I should okay. say one thing that I didn't say before, you got that thing still rolling? Yeah. Is that um, there's a, a little bit of ashes in about yeah. a finger, finger and a half, which is what, like? Uh, like an inch, almost. Yeah. A finger and a half, oh yeah, it's a solid inch. It's, a, it's an inch of ash. Well, this one's gonna go like in here someplace. You're gonna have to carve, do a little carving and mudding to make it fit. Mm -hmm. But, go in here someplace. Cool. Get these down. And that is so. That is so that the heat will be put in at the bottom and the heat will leave at the bottom. Most importantly, the leaves will go out at the bottom. I freaking love Cobb. <laughs> it's like a a form the cobbing over. Mm -hmm. so hold it way back underneath the underneath the heat riser to get going. You'll feel the heat riser well. You'll feel the heat kind of feel what it's supposed to feel. See the flow go in the right direction. And hold it under the heat riser. Feel flow. Yeah, I do. And when you feel the flow, and it's burning, pull it back a little bit, make sure it's still going in the same direction, okay. and then put this on top of that one. And then put... On top of it, like... Uh, just kind of behind it, you know, where when we put these little guys, right, kind of on top of it and behind it. Alright, do I stick these in there? Yeah, just wait for a minute. Let those catch a little bit. Yeah, now kind of push them together a little bit and push those in behind the smaller ones behind them. You can kind of put them in one at a time, sort of. Just got to feed them in so they're sort of in amongst it.
I got this crummy old barrel from a different project and uh, I'm going to cut it in half this way um, and then kind of beat it out flatter and this will be sort of the beginning of the arch for the, for the seat over there. We'll, we'll prop this inside and then we'll over it. That's a theory anyway. Soaking wet. <clears throat> like not um, wringing it out wet? Yeah, don't wring it out. And then put it on as long, pet it out as long as you can. You don't want little blobs. You want, you want, yeah, you want straps. And then pet the straps. It's not going to be like cob. You're going to go around the corners with them. Okay. Put them around the corners first. Really slick them on. Imagine you're strapping it down with tape or something, right? You're taping it on. That's actually a good analogy. It's really a good job here. It's all smeared in so that there's no immediate edge because mm -hmm. the, the edges become a peel area. Yeah. So you're smoothing out the edge and you're making it making it kind of more one piece somehow. So the crack when it happens is going to be back farther. Mm -hmm. And you right. can just plaster over that. And you can plaster over that uh, instead of being right. Right, right. You know, a clear separation mark. You've got, you've got a foot at least. A oh, nice wide foot with keying. Yeah, I kind of like that, that, that angle down sort of kind of specifically says like, don't set your stuff here. Right. You know, like, no, this is not where you rest your beer. <laughs> <laughs> to your edges. Edges are everything in good design. 
both functionally and visually. So here, we're making a rolled edge so that when plaster goes down over it, the plaster will have a thickness on the edge instead of just tapering off to nothing. Now we're running the scratcher over it to open the pores of the wall so the water can get out. It'll dry faster, crack less, theoretically. Oh yeah, it's going well. That's great. It's actually easier to start than it used to be. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs>